This is the King's Basin. Located in the southern part of California's Central Valley, the King's Basin supplies water to agricultural and municipal users in portions of Fresno, Kings, and Tulare counties, as well as the large population centers of Fresno and Clovis. The King's Basin is large, covering nearly a million acres of land. Of those nearly one million acres, about half is farmland, and a vast majority of the crops that grow on this land depend on irrigation water during the dry season. Much of the water that feeds all of the thirsty crops, animals, and humans that inhabit the area comes from three distinct sources. The Kings River, with tributaries and sloughs flowing from the Pine Flat Reservoir, the San Joaquin River, which routes water from Millerton Reservoir to lower elevation areas through the Friant Kern Canal and through the river itself, and of course, groundwater pumped up from the underground aquifer, which stores our water deep underground. The water supply that comes from the aquifer is shared by everyone in the area. This aquifer has existed for millions of years, naturally gaining various amounts of water periodically through rainfall, runoff, and snowmelt. And for the past hundred or so years, we have been pumping water from it, intentionally adding some water back to it on occasion through something called artificial recharge. Unfortunately, we've pumped out a lot more than we put back. When more water is pumped out of the ground than is put in, you get what's called overdraft. And just like at your bank, overdraft is not a good thing. When you get too much overdraft over a long period of time, the water table gets lower and lower and lower. Aside from the potential of running out of groundwater, there are other issues of a lowered water table. For one, it takes more energy to pump water up from greater depths. That energy costs money. In addition, it takes more equipment and chemicals to treat water brought up from greater depths because the salts and other contaminants start to get more concentrated. That equipment costs money, those chemicals cost money. At some point, the lowered water table becomes a problem, and at our present rate, we're rapidly approaching that point. The California Department of Water Resources estimates that over the past 50 years, the King's Basin has experienced a decline of about 6 million acre-feet in groundwater storage. And local experts estimate groundwater storage is declining at an average rate of more than 120,000 acre-feet annually. That's enough to fill 250 Bulldog stadiums to the brim every single year. The three main reasons for this specific decline are 1. Groundwater pumping for agriculture 2. Depending too heavily on groundwater for all demands in much of the western parts of the King's Basin and 3. Urban development and an over-reliance on groundwater once lands are developed for urban use. There are only two ways to reverse groundwater overdraft. You pump less or recharge more. We can try to pump less by conserving water and it's essential that each of us do our part to try and conserve as much as possible. But with the population expected to climb, there's only so much that conservation alone can accomplish. So, that leaves recharge as the most realistic option. Now, if the ground layer was exactly the same across the entire King's Basin, we could build recharge basins wherever we wanted. But geologists have told us, and we feel inclined to believe them, that not all land is created equal. For instance, some soil is largely made of porous materials like sand and gravel, which is very permeable, penetrable, and pervious. In other words, water goes through it pretty easily. Other areas have more silt, clay, and impermeable rock materials in them. Trying to recharge in these areas is largely a waste of time, because the ground blocks the water before it can make it down to the aquifer. In addition to the geologic problem, there's also an issue with water conveyance. Water recharge makes little sense in areas that aren't near rivers or canals. Because the one thing recharge basins need above all is, you guessed it, water. Unfortunately, scientists have not discovered how to make water. So, we rely on wet years when flood water is available. The good news is that we have locations that have all the right ingredients, permeable soils and existing canals. Just add flood flows from the Kings and San Joaquin rivers, and presto, our groundwater is recharged. So, what can be done to help groundwater recharge efforts? We're glad you asked. As you learned, successful recharge depends greatly on finding areas with both permeable soil and access to existing rivers and canals. It's crucial when making decisions on land use to recognize the importance of water conservation, water reclamation, and groundwater recharge. 
Land use is one of the greatest human-caused factors that influences the groundwater system. The Kings Basin has experienced significant changes in land use over the last several decades, and land use decisions that do not consider groundwater impacts are detrimental to the sustainability of the groundwater supply. So educate yourself and learn as much as you can so we can make good, informed decisions when growing our cities and our food. Visit kingsbasinauthority.org for more information.